so welcome to part two so now in the afternoon and I'm on different permission again I've already done a little bit on here not a lot but I just want to carry on do a little bit here because this permission if the grass is too high and stuff like that and you see them they're already harvesting the next field straight next to it so hopefully um, there won't be any crop on here until the international hunt and two years ago because the other fields that the grass was too high and so on we were on the other side of the road right in the background um, so this year I'm going to be coming over the main road onto this permission because all, all the fields you see right here um, I have permission for so um, this is going to be hopefully a permission for the international hunt then it's huge I think we can stay for hours on here actually it's about a day you could detect down here and we'll just see I'm just going to do a couple of uh, runs and then we'll carry on and of course I'm on my own but I don't mind drinking a beer so to your health wherever you are in the world I hope you had lots of luck today and you're having fun enjoying yourself and enjoying the great weather we're having in Europe even though it's a little bit dry we could use some rain but there you go so cheers to you that's good and we'll see you on the first find until then so and the first find this is 60 40 ooh, nasty 94 85 84 60 72 so nothing good I suppose so we will see Oh, a coin. Oh, cool. Didn't expect that. And that's most likely going to be some kind of rice fennec or something like that, by the shape of it. Let's take a look. The wind isn't too bad. Okay. 19 something or other, so one rice fennec from somewhere or other. You can't just see right now, I have to get my water. Okay. Off to next. So 1924. Uh, one rice fennec, obviously imperial Germany, of course. So there you go. Off to the next. And a military button with the 12 on it. So I'm not quite sure, but I think this is actually a uh, German, but like I said, I'm not quite positive on that. But looking at the numbers, the uh, French are smaller normally, so this should be like the uh, 12th, uh, most likely infantry or something like that, prior to the First World War even, so um, about the 1860s or something like that. That's what it looks like, but like I said, I'm not positive on that, 100% uh, positive, for sure. Cool, off to the next. And the harmonica read again. Mundharmonika Stimmplatte. And the nice thing is, I'm in the shade. <laughs> so that's good. Okay, let's carry on, off to the next. And a badly corroded ox shoe, but you can still see the shape right there, so there you go. Okay, off to the next. Well, a lovely old little buckle, very nice. Off to the next. Well, that certainly was a big signal. 
<laughs> no, it's not a sword, it's part of farming equipment. See the hose. Okay, thank God the car is just over there. And then I can take that straight to the car. Okay, let's carry on. And the next coin, it's a 10 Renton Fennec. Yep, 10 Renton Fennec. So that's going to be 1920 something or other. Take a look. 19. 24. Very nice. Okay, off to the next. And the next coin baked in. And another 10. Yep. 1924 again. And another red pyramid. Cool. Off to the next. And half a bronze ring. So, off the next. And a five ring fennec. 1924. Okay, off to the next. And another beautiful part of the buckle. Very nice with the etchings in it. Very nice. So here we have a gear wheel, most likely from a clock or something like that. Uh, in Germany we call them Zahnrad. So there you go. Okay, so there's an electric pole right there, so I'm going to go from there all the way across and then back to the car and that'll be it for today so let's see what we can find after next so my beloved viewers that was it for today didn't find uh, much uh, on the way across like I would just said a little bit of modern trash I mean this was like the last piece and was so that was very quiet so we've got a little bit of modern trash not a lot, so that's pretty cool. Um, some iron, of course. Big piece of iron right here. So, there you go. And then we got the harmonica reed. What well, is nothing special, really. Uh, the bronze ring. The bronze buckle piece. So, that's very nice. And, of course, a small little bronze um, buckle directly with the pencil inside. Uh, the button. Very nice. Shame it's uh, broken at the top. The gear. And then the four coins. And that was it. Whew. So, at least we found something. We got out, you know, so that's pretty nice. Whew. Just scared me. The detector fell over and looked like an animal was coming around the corner. <laughs> well, never mind. So, We will see how long, how, may, how much detecting I can do next week. Not a lot most likely, but we will see. And then the two weeks after that, I'm going to be in Cologne area, or in, the, in Cologne actually for two weeks uh, for schooling. And then uh, we'll see, hopefully, uh, guys up in Cologne will take me the weekend out so the Ruhrpott Sondler maybe and stuff like that but I'll get in touch with him and see or maybe somebody else up there we will see okay well that was it like I said for today and as always I hope you had lots of luck out there and if you're not detected and you're just watching my videos I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time around until then Keep smiling, enjoy life, and enjoy life. <laughs> oh, brain. <laughs>